This is the solution to our Project 6. Um, for those of you who don't know what Project 6 is, possibly watching this years later or something, I'll just scroll down through the project description and you can stop the video and look at that um, more slowly if you want to. Um, and so let's get to the actual problems you have to solve here. You have to crack the Algamal cipher. Uh, these are the statements of the problems. Here are the, uh, the numerical answers. So the solution to the first one turns out to be 58719. This is the solution to the hard problem, and this is the solution to the very hard problem. So let's go through uh, the code that solves these things. So I'm um, going to get the solution for the first two from Oleg. Oleg's last name starts with A, so um, and it's also convenient that he usually does very good work, and he was able to solve these problems. So here's the brute force attack on the on the 20-bit uh, initial problem. Um, so this is uh, Python. So he just checks every x to see if g to the x mod q is equal to h and recovers x that way. Um, and this is the correct answer. So for problem two, um, he implemented Shanks's baby step giant step algorithm. And so um, here is his function. Find x with baby step giant step, and it takes g, q, h, m, etc. Um, so here, here in the baby step, he builds the table of values, and then uh, defines y. And now in the giant step, you try to find a match in the table of values. So here is, is what, I only made one change to Oleg's code. Which Oleg's code is correct, but there's a little efficiency tweak. So you're looking to see if, if the thing that he calls giant is in the table of values. But a more efficient way to do that is just to, to try, um, to use a try except block. And the reason this is a little bit faster is because it uses the hash table lookup for the values dictionary instead of looking through a list. And um, yeah, he says that it took too long, but it, it doesn't take too long if you do it this way. And now he finds the message, and this is the, uh, this is the correct answer. And this is the solution to the very hard problem, which I just wrote myself here. Um, yeah, so here's C1, C2, Q, etc. <clears throat> um, so there's a little bit of saging going on here using the sage software. Um, you want to use this dis built-in discrete log function that um, has an efficient implementation in Sage, but in order to access it, you have to use the right data type. So I have h here as a number, but I convert it to an element of uh, z mod q. So this is an object that has extra members, like for instance, this discrete log function. So x is um, h log g, because h is g to the x. Now you can get s as um, c1 to the x power. That's because c1 is g to the y. When you raise it to the x, you get the, the secret s. Um, by the way, the notation here exactly follows um, the way it's written in the description of Algamal encryption on Wikipedia. Um, and uh, so now what? You compute s inverse, and m is equal to C2 times S inverse mod Q, and this is the correct solution. Okay, so that is the key to this project.